This is AIR. Artists in Residence Broadcasting. Coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, I'm John Cullum and... This, this is the boss. The I show. am Emily Frankel and we are going to do... What? A discussion that I can't seem to write for my blog, Ames Talkery. I've been trying to write about exercise. Well, boss, if you can't write about exercise, I can help you with some ideas. Well, you can't tell me what exercises to do because no. I take a bar, a ballet bar, every day, and I've been taking it every day since I was seven years old. That's what I was going to remind you of. That's, that's just what I was going to tell you. But how can I talk to people who read my blog? How can I talk to people who don't like exercise? I don't care about that you talking to them right now. I want to tell them about you and exercise and how you saved your you saved your life with exercise. Yes, I did. And I know many people who, if they'd gone through what Emily had gone through, would probably be uh, semi invalids right now. But because Emily has the ability to control and uh, to, to, to concentrate and to do exercises and stay with them, uh, she has been able to uh, overcome a lot of things. Now, do you want to talk about some of that? No. Well, well. I was in a car accident and I was a partial paraplegic for a while and I am not. And I went back to dancing afterwards. What I want to talk about is the problem of doing exercise day after day. John, for instance, has a jogging machine. What would you call that? What, a walker. A walk. No, it's not a walker. A treadmill? Treadmill. He has no. a treadmill. And a good treadmill. Yeah. And it's very hard for him to find time during his day when there are much more interesting things to do than to get on the treadmill for a half an hour and... You know, the interesting thing is... Do what? A lot of times I can't think of what to do in the world with my my time when I have it. And yet, if I know that I have to go in and use the treadmill, I can think of a lot of other things I'd rather do. Well, you can watch television. <laughs> but at, having to go on a treadmill every day is a drag. It is. Having to do exercises, like get in a car and go to a gym, gee, that's a drag. Don't forget about the car. In New York City, getting on a subway, going to a gym changing your clothes, yes. finding a machine, and then getting on a bicycle or whatever you get on, uh, uh, all those things. That's boring. Yeah, well, Emily, you seem to forget the fact that sometimes it's agony for you to pull yourself in there and, and do your bar. I've seen yes, you. Yes, but I do it. You do it anyway. I do it because all my life I have been me. The person who wanted to dance, who did dance, and I still, though I am not a dancer anymore, still want to have the look and the feeling in my body of the person that is me. That means when I'm in there and I started my exercise, all the dreams that I had as a child, all the visions that I had are being caressed. They are happening as I'm well, doing my workout. Let's face it, Emily. When you do your bar, even though you don't dance anymore, you become a dancer again in your own mind. Well, what can we say to people about boring exercise? Find some, some, something about it that delights you and makes you feel good. Well, for instance, use music. Music is a help. And another thing is try to motivate yourself before you go in and say, Okay, I'm going in there today. I'm going to do my exercise today. For what purpose? Well, I want to get ready for a party. I want to look good. Or I have new, I'm have i going to get some new clothes, and I want to be able to wear those clothes and have an elegant posture. Find a motivation. Oh, yes. yes. And, and keep inventing something. Find a fresh thought every time you have to go and do your exercise. I've never heard you say that before, but I'm sure that's what you do. That would help me, but I have a great deal of difficulty coming up with some idea like that. Well, all I want to say is I know exercise is boring. Exercise bores me. But I do it because it helps me be me. 
And so I'm saying to John, yes. and I'm saying to the audience, I'm saying to anybody who is bored by exercise, motivate yourself, find ways to encourage yourself, even reward yourself after you've exercised. Say out loud, okay, thanks, Emily. Thanks, John. Can, you took care of me today. That's wonderful, Emily. Can I say, all right, John, you can have some ice cream after this. Okay. <laughs> well, if you did that after, every day after exercise, that would be, you could have a teaspoon. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, do your exercise and find ways to thank yourself for doing it because it is a way of you being you. Positive thinking from Emily Franco. And John Cullen. And I second the motion. We'll see you next weekend. Thanks for joining us. This is AIR. See you next week.